Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lise and today we're going to be talking about Alchemy Stars and the closed beta testing kind of thing. A couple of things have happened since I released my last video about Alchemy Stars, giving you guys kind of like a run through the game, including announcements for closed beta testing. And yes, I did tell you guys if you guys were paying attention to my community page. Do you see this, my dudes? This is proof. I do tell you guys, just pay attention to the community tab and we're A-OK. -okay. So guys, back to Alchemy Stars. Yeah, they're just having a little bit of trouble. Just wanted to talk through them and kind of talk about, not really my concerns, but I don't know. I just want to talk about Alchemy Stars right now. So for you guys who don't know about Alchemy Stars, I'll give you like a 30 second spiel. This is kind of what it looks like. It's a tactical strategy game and essentially you're moving your characters along like some squares. So like it looks like he's moving along the yellow squares here. And as you go past enemies, you hit them and stuff and you've got like skills and all of that. It's a pretty refreshing looking game and I'm hoping that it does pretty well to be honest. I have not seen something like this on the market for quite a long time and so I'm really excited for it. No, it's not like Ark Knights. It's nothing like it. It's not Tower Defense. We're looking at a global release on June 17th so that is actually a month away from now. I think this global release includes like English, Japanese and potentially Korean or Chinese. I can't remember but I think we might all be sitting on the same servers so like you know if the English community dies hopefully we'll still be okay. All right hopefully that was like 30 seconds. That is kind of like me selling you the game. So let me talk more about the closed beta testing. So like I mentioned before, a couple of days ago, or I think a week ago, they actually opened closed beta test applications. So it just asks you for a couple of information, it's not too much, and then you just submit your application. The deadline was a day or two ago, and then they've actually closed their closed beta application, and now they're reviewing. So that's not actually true. So I think they've actually like done their selection of the candidates. And as of now, I think we have like 60 people in the closed beta test discord. I didn't get a key, I didn't get in, so unfortunately I won't be able to cover this game, which is a real shame. I really wanted to bring you guys content and like just kind of get like, you know, get some guides going, you know, so we know what to do from like day one. I tried reaching out to the team, but I think they might just be a little bit too busy to notice me. Notice me, senpai. Yeah, it's all good. Anyway, so let me just talk through the closed beta test. I think it was supposed to start like now, actually. So if we pop over to their Twitter, you can see that, you know, they've actually put out an announcement. There is actually a CBT delay and due to the issues during verification process, I think this was because they couldn't get their app approved on the Apple Store. Unfortunately, they're going to delay the CBT again until May 19th. It's just an estimation, but like, you know, I'm not even in it. It doesn't even matter to me. I guess what's more interesting is that they also announced that there are CBT exclusive rewards. I don't really know how I feel about this because like I know a lot of gachas, they prey on FOMO. So for you guys who don't know, FOMO stands for fear of missing out. And just by experience with my, <laughs> my 45 years of gacha experience, there are a lot of players that are like collectors or like they just kind of like, you know, want everything. Everything to either be obtainable via time or money. Unfortunately, getting selected for CBT was, uh, I guess, an RNG raffle kind of process. And so unfortunately, a lot of people are going to feel left out. Somebody on Discord has translated the exclusive rewards from the Korean Discord server, I think. And so they'll get some level of compensation. But on top of that, they'll have a CBT profile and furniture. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like it really, I, I don't think this really breeds like the healthiest community kind of thing. I don't know about you guys, but there's always this like, I guess, oh, look, I'm exclusive and stuff like that. I personally think that like everything that's, I guess, not really like paid should be attainable by everyone. I'm not salty about it. I just hope that you guys will, I guess, keep a more open mind when we get into the game. I have definitely seen cases of this, not even just gachas, like MMOs and stuff where like exclusive rewards, like people get FOMO'd out of the game. Like if they're locked out of some content, like a profile or furniture, and as insignificant as it sounds, they just straight up don't play. Again, like I said, I'm talking about this more from like a game health point of view. But again, if we are located on the same servers as Korea and JP, then I don't think we have too much to worry about. But yeah, just like know about this, I suppose. All right, so that's that. So I think they probably only have like a hundred beta testers, which is actually a really small amount, but it is what it is. And the rest of us are going to be waiting until uh, 17th of June, one month away. I'm sure we can wait. There's a lot of other good games that are coming out. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the tickets. So I didn't mention it last time, but they actually released a code already. So if you guys want to write down this code, it's like a train ticket. I'm just looking for it right here. So this is just a pre-registration event kind of thing. And I believe when the server opens, you'll be able to input the CD key Alchemy Stars into some code section somewhere. And hopefully we'll get some more in-game rewards or something like that. It's a pretty cool design and hopefully we'll get some really nice freebies. But aside from that, there's actually not too much movement from uh, Alchemy Stars, which is a shame. They have doubled in followers, but that is still an alarmingly low amount of followers, I suppose. If I compare this to the Japanese Alchemy Stars, so let me have a quick look. 
at the JP one over here. I'm pretty sure it's like 50K. Yeah, 60K, which is okay. Why exactly do I think 60K is okay? Yeah, because if I compare that to the Princess Connect one, I think that's about 60K as well. And Princess Connect Global doesn't seem like it's gonna be dying, so. Yeah. I also don't think Alchemy Stars has done too much marketing yet. I think they will probably ramp that up as we get closer to the release. But yeah, otherwise, I don't think there's actually too much going on about this one. I think somebody said that there was potential for like an open beta. I don't have any sources for that one, so I don't know. All right, that should have been a quick video. I will wrap things up now. Secret message. Um, CBT keyware. <laughs> and for all you sick people, CBT stands for closed beta testing. I don't need to know what kind of CBT you guys are playing with, but that's what I know. All right, if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. As always, if this video was cool, then like consider a like, a sub, or a comment. I'm definitely going to be covering this game in a month's time, which is so sad, but it is what it is. Actually, you know what? I have some bonus content for you guys, and if you guys have actually made it to this part of the video, which is almost the end because of the bonus content, then I hope you guys appreciate this bonus content. All right, guys, so if you guys didn't see like my last video, it was about King Sense. This game looks kind of cool. They like actually got to 500k, giving everyone the highest rarity unit and all this jazz. So the game actually released a few days ago and I gave it a shot. It's kind of like a tile based game as well. It's kind of strategy again. You're going from left to right and you got to kind of like kill enemies and reach the goal. It's kind of like a reverse tower defense where you're trying to break through their defenses to get to the end. So this one is a real, real, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know. All right, guys. So this is a comment that I left on this thread a couple of days ago, two days ago now on the Gacha Gaming subreddit, because what we discovered was that they screwed it up. The publishers, of King Sense, aka Super Prism, aka the people who published Illusion Connect. Essentially, they stuffed up the pity. So if you guys play Arknights, this is going to be a very familiar mechanic. So the base rate for an MR, which is the highest rarity, is 6%. If after 40 pulls, you still haven't gotten an MR yet, your 41st pull will have, let's say, an 8% chance. Because every pull after 40, your MR rate will go up by 2%. So for example, your 41st pull is going to be at 8%, and your 42nd pull is going to be at 10%. It's just going to go up by like each time you pull and you don't succeed, you're going to get an extra 2%. That was what was on the Chinese server, which I think was like the OG one. However, when they brought this game to global, they nerfed it really hard. So instead of starting it from the 41st pull, I'm pretty sure this should be like the 51st pull. They've actually pushed it back 10 pulls and they've also gutted this plus percentage per pull. So what this means is that on the 51st pull, we'll have a 6.3% chance of pulling an MR. If they had just included the Chinese rates, I think you would be up to like a 16% MR rate already. Something like that. You can already see, right? They've nerfed it by like almost 10 times. I don't have much else to comment about this. I just bring the facts. I hope that the game finds the success that it deserves. All right, I think that's enough bonus content. I just figured like, you know, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I figured you guys like me enough to like follow this kind of bull crap because this like you know i'm pretty sure if you play any gacha game you can kind of appreciate like this kind of stuff appreciate the knowledge of these things happening you know all right so let's stop the bonus content there if you do like this kind of segment let me know and again if you like me enough consider a sub but otherwise that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye